What is one memory that always makes you smile every time you think about it? Back in college, I was eating at Chipotle with my friend Anthony, who is typically a pretty suave guy. As we were talking, he was alternating between taking sips of his beer and dumping Tabasco on his burrito before taking a bite. He gets lost in our conversation and I see him grab the Tabasco and start bringing it to his lips before catching himself and grabbing his beer instead. Then I see him do it again, getting even closer to his mouth this time before realizing his mistake. He laughs it off. Another minute goes by and, exceeding all expectations, he grabs his beer and pours it into his burrito. The last time I saw my great-grandma Claudine. She was 98 and had horrible dementia. She didn't recognize my grandmother, her daughter, and it was honestly very sad. We were going to her house because my papa, her husband, died and we needed to go to his funeral. Before we left we got a car wash and one of the guys there gave us a red carnation. It was a weird promotion or something I think. But after a 10 plus hour drive we made it to her house. I rushed inside and overheard my grandma begging my great grandma to remember her, because my grandma had recently been diagnosed with stage 3 ovarian cancer, she beat it. I gave her a second and knocked, then walked in. The very first thing my great grandma said when she saw me was is that my beautiful great grandchild? I nearly cried just from that. My grandma was super happy she remembered me but sad she didn't remember her, and decided I should spend time with her alone. She went off to go get some food I think, but I don't really know. So it was just me and my grandma. We chatted for a while and the inevitable question finally came up, who was that woman in here earlier? That's your daughter, oh really? Why does her hair look so weird? Oh, it's a wig. She is bald now. I couldn't bring myself to tell her her daughter had cancer, even thought she wouldn't remember. She giggled a bit then attempted to pull me in and said I'm gonna steal her wig. I laughed, she couldn't walk or lift her own arms on her own, let alone snatch a wig right off of my grandmother's head. After about an hour my tummy started to grumble so I called my grandma back in and went to the kitchen for some potatoes. After maybe 5 minutes I heard my grandma scream. I was afraid my great grandma finally had died and rushed in, but it wasn't that at all. My great grandma did it. She ripped the wig right off of my grandma's head. She told her to come close to whisper a secret and with all her might snatched it. She went on to love in a care home and got into many more antics, and would call once a week begging me to steal her away and start a traveling band. When my friend got hit in the face with a piece of broccoli at a hibachi restaurant. This made me remember that for my birthday one year I went to a restaurant called One Oyer in Montreal with my sister and some friends. The waitstaff is people who are blind, and you eat in the dark. My sister managed to throw a mushroom at me and hit me right in the middle of my forehead. Of course I threw one back, but in the dark I missed, and could not tell where it went. About 5 minutes later we just hear, there's something slimy on my chair. From someone who had just been seated. We about died laughing. Also being sung happy birthday in complete darkness takes all the awkwardness out of it. No one staring at you and you don't have to look at anyone slash anything. When my cousin was at my grandparents house before I was born, there was a moment when grandma farted and the smoke detector went off. My uncle told me that I'd never see anything top that. When my daughter was little, she literally could not stop talking. She has ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, and that's just one of the effects. One day, we were walking by an abandoned lot, looked like an old gas station or something. My daughter looked at it and said wow, that's a beautiful yard. Dot. I said that's a lot. She said yeah. A lot of beautiful yard. I used to work for a landscaping company cutting grass in industrial parks. One day I was cutting a huge piece of lawn after a light rain, and stirred up a bunch of bugs. Some swallows must have noticed and went on a sort of feeding frenzy all around me for like half hour. I would be riding along and a bird would swoop what felt like inches from my head, and then spiral all around to catch more bugs. 
After watching them for a minute or so I knew they wouldn't crash into me, so it was like being given a private air show. Mine would be when I first started talking to my spouse. I had been asking co-workers about her for some time and then I found out that she was asking about me as well. We would talk here and there but I never had the guts to ask her on a date. When I finally built up the courage to ask her out on a date, she was saying yes before I even asked. We were laughing like schoolgirls because I literally only asked if I could ask her something. It makes me smile because I always had low self-esteem and underestimated how much I was worth in a sense of what I could bring to the table in a relationship. Having her love and support just makes me so incredibly happy now and that memory just stands out during the good and the hard times. My mom would sing and dance in the kitchen every Sunday morning when I was growing up. Times were always tough and money was always tight but my mom always made sure we were happy and healthy. One particular day when I was 8, I was woken up by the sound of Gloria Gaynor's I Will Survive blasting through the house and my mom singing off key. As I walked to the kitchen the smell of chorizo and eggs filled the air and there I saw her. My mom, who only a few days earlier looked so miserable with her life, was dancing her heart out with a spatula in hand. When she passed away seven years later I cried every time I thought of her, except for this memory. This is the only memory that got me through her death. It not only makes me smile every time I think of it but it's my favorite memory of all time because I'm so lucky to remember her for who she was. About a year ago I was in a discount grocery store. I had about $20 left after bills and rent, so was having to carefully pick what to buy. In the end, after rumming and ahhing for a couple of minutes over whether I could afford to spend $6 on coffee I put it back on the shelf and went to the register. As I'm walking out of the shop I hear a woman call after me, young man, you forgot this I turn around and she thrusts the jar of coffee into my bag, I go to protest and she cuts me off saying, I remember what it was like, not having enough money and having to go without. You take that coffee and enjoy it mate the biggest smile on her face. She was like a beacon of light during one of my darkest times, and I always remember her, with every cup of coffee I can't help but smile. Because now each cup reminds me there are truly good people in the world. Edit, always remember there are good and kind people out there. Don't let a few bad apples ruin humanity for you. For years I did, and I've only recently learned this lesson. This reminds me of a story. My son got pneumonia when he was five. He was in the hospital for four days and they finally sent us home with $400 worth of prescriptions. His Medicaid had gotten messed up somehow and turns out he was uninsured. We were broke at the time and had just paid the mortgage so $400 wasn't in the cards. I had about $250 to my name. I drove around to different pharmacies trying to see if it was cheaper. About the 8th pharmacy I went to the pharmacist said let me check the price went in the back and handed me the prescriptions and just smiled. I tried to ask how much they cost and he just kept smiling. I'll never forget that guy. In the 6 feet 3 inches 250 pounds construction worker and I cried all the way home. My first time coming home from college. I was worried my dog would forget me while I was gone. But when I walked through the door. She ran up to me happy and jumped into my arms. I've never felt so loved. And relieved. Dogs never forget. They're the best. I think of my dog that we had for 14 years, but the last 3 years of her life she lived a while away with my aunt as we moved and couldn't have pets. I visited as often as I could but with work and school, it was difficult. I remember I was at a job interview and walked out of it feeling like I killed it then looked at my phone and had damn near 50 missed calls from family. I called back and was told they were putting my dog down that day. I ran straight to the train station and got on so many trains to get to her. I hadn't seen her in about a year at this point which breaks my heart. Even though it had been a year and she was so old and unwell, the second I walked through that door she came to me. I could see it exhausted her to walk over and she lay at my feet. She gave herself a push against my legs so she was on her back and could get belly rubs. 
My aunt said she had been behind the sofa all day refusing to get out but as soon as I walked through the door, apparently she lit up and it was the first time her tail wagged in a couple of days. I stayed with her as long as I could then she had to go. But I'll always treasure that last memory of her and how even in her last moments, she still had so much love for me. The first time my daughter spoke an intelligible word. She woke up in the morning and looking at me said Papa. The funny part is that my wife had, according to her, the perfect plan. She would say, repeatedly, to the baby, the word Papa, then, supposedly, when the baby would need anything she would call me and not my wife. It worked until certain point. Now she's jealous that the first word was Papa. But, when the baby wants something she calls for her mommy, most of the times. I did the same with our first secretly repeated dad 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 to him every chance I got. Seeing the happiness light up my husband when the first word out of his beloved son's mouth was his name was absolutely worth it smile. Do you have any such story? Leave a comment. And subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more same videos.